Welcome everyone to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing some more practice matches. Uh, I posted on Twitter asking for battles, and uh, this is the team I use: a Dragonair, Victory Bell, Swampert, uh, Skunk Tank, Venomoth, and Lapras. Uh, using Skunk Tank and Venomoth um, together for the first time. Not really too common for me to do that, but I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to go up against uh, Swampert. This is uh, Swampert needs to land the Earthquake, uh, so I'm just paying attention to see whether or not it's going to be an Earthquake or not, and Hydro can baits me, um, which is fine. Uh, I, I believe as Q was saying there, so I'm in a good position, and I should be able to hit the Surf before uh, the Hydro Cannon, so because he failed the bait, it, oh, well, okay, well, he's still going to shield, and... I believe I shield here, and I believe he tries to hydro cannon me, uh, which is fine. But I believe I just f oh no, okay, never mind, I don't. Okay, so it makes sense if you fail the bait. Oh, okay, wow, he still hit the hydro. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, uh, that makes sense. I guess it's three charge moves, so I have to still guess it correctly. Um, so that makes sense. Okay, all right, well, good to know. I go for the return just to burn the shield. And don't burn the shield. And I'm in a pretty good position right now. I'm going to let it go so I can farm up a little bit. And I farm up with Skunk Tank. And let's see what's in the back. I'm up a shield. And here comes Celio. This is where Sludge Bomb would have been really helpful. Um, I'm not really sure uh, why I have Flamethrower. I guess I have Flamethrower in case Drapion, for example. But I'm in a pretty good position right now. Uh, I'm going to shield this body slam, and he might hit me with one more body slam beforehand, trying to self piggyback, which is the, the correct move, especially when you're behind on shields. Try to get every turn advantage you can to potentially uh, flip around a match. So, go for the crunch, and I'm able to take out Celio. Alright. Timeless Cup has uh, been. Oh. Okay, all right. Um, for some reason, I only had one match there, and I end up in a match against this is Nightwing, I believe. I must have cut that pretty weird. Um, anyway, here comes Lapras, and I'm gonna go for the return, and I'm hoping to land another return. And oh man, he excellent counting on his side, and I go for the shield. <laughs> I don't know why uh, I went for the shield. Um, perhaps I want switch advantage. Um, I'm not sure if I have another Pokemon that can effectively deal with uh, Victory Bell in the back. And I believe he actually comes out with Victory Bell, uh, which is okay. <laughs> actually, I don't know. Um, using the shield was, I don't, I don't know. It was it was okay on my part, but not, not great. And now I'm down, but... He has uh, Relicamp, uh, which is, I don't know, it's like an okay situation for me. And he is going to have to shield eventually. And then I'm going to have to land two more charge moves after this. So I switch out into Swampert. And he's going to have to settle for Aqua Tails instead of Ancient Power. Oh, he goes for the Ancient Power. Okay, <laughs> never mind. All right. Um... Definitely go for Aqua Tail. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, and he doesn't shield. Okay, all right. I'm not sure why. Um, he definitely had a chance to win there. Uh, he had quite a bit of energy. Um, I was definitely going to land the... Uh, I don't think he would have KO'd me with Aqua Tail and the subsequent Water Gun. So I'm um, going to lock in. What am I going to lock in? I'm going to lock in Venomoth. Uh, Lapras Dragonair. And we are going to see how this team does. And we're going to lead Venomoth into Kingdra. I actually have no idea how this match goes. Um, obviously, the Silver is going to do a lot of damage. So I'm looking to land the bait here. Uh, and actually don't think he falls for the bait. 
So really good no shield on his side. And I go for a second Poison Fang. And I think he shields this one. He does. And I was really hoping to win. Uh, I, I debatedly, debatingly, I could have shielded there. And um, could have fainted down his Kingdra, but it was a little too risky. Uh, but then I ended up losing switch advantage. And then I'm left <laughs> yeah, Dragonair versus uh, Lapras, which is not ever a great situation. Um, I don't, yeah, as I switch out to Lapras, and he has Relicanth in the back, which is not good news for me. And what I want to do is farm up enough. Uh, I should shield. I don't know why I don't shield here. I really should have shielded. Uh, and I go because I have to shield an Aqua Tail later. Or, I don't know, is, is, I should have, yeah, I should have shielded. Um, and I don't shield here. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, wrong call on my part. And then, let's go. I need to farm up a little bit anyways. And and then I think I'm in a race <laughs> uh, against, and I go for the Aqua Tail. Uh, debatable move there. And... He goes for the Surf, uh, which he definitely shouldn't go for because uh, I think the farm down. Well, maybe, let's see here. Um, I thought for a second there that because he did the second Surf, he definitely would have won. If, uh, he he, wins up, he ends up winning this match, uh, but ends up making it a little bit closer. I really should not have gone for that Aqua Tail. And if I didn't go for the Aqua Tail and tried to go for the Faint Down, then maybe I would be able to pull off, but really well, well played uh, Nightwing. All right. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't didn't cut these transitions out, but the battle should be coming up shortly, hopefully. Let's see here. Oh, okay. All right. Next up, we're against C9 Gotham, a very tough competitor, uh, and we already did a best seven earlier uh, in the in the in the month uh, on the first or second day. The cup was out. Okay, all right. Okay, and I actually tried to. I thought I thought we aired, so then I was backing out, and then for some reason we. Then uh, yeah, anyways, then somehow I'm not sure how this happened. We end up uh, CMP tying for the skull bash, even though he switched in. Um, and I th I thought I'm like okay maybe this is not skull bash because how did he switch in and CMP tie with me? Um, anyways. Very confusing, and then at this point in time, I'm like, I'm absolutely uh, not in a good position. I think he ends up double shielding here, man, and double shielding Lapras when I don't have a counter is is terrible. And somehow, he, yeah, yeah, this is, it was a terrible idea for me not to shield there. I really should have shielded because uh, I really needed the the skull, a third skull bash there, but dumb mistake on my part. And I think I just go for Dragon. I'm like, I just gotta do, I just gotta do some damage. Um, I shield. He goes for another Skull Bash, which allows him to survive this return. Oh my gosh, absolutely terrible for me. Um, oh my gosh, that return absolutely did nothing. Oh man, this is terrible. Oh man, that's disgusting. Oh, I end up okay. I need to hit this Aqua Tail as soon as possible, which I do. But it's Celio. Uh, I can beat Celio with Skunk Tank, but I can't beat what's ever in the back with Skunk Tank as well. Um, if I had Sludge Bomb, this would be a much better situation for me. <laughs> I end up shielding this. And yeah, if I had S Sludge Bomb. I don't know if this. I don't know if Sludge Bomb plus. Oh, yeah, yeah. I. Definitely Sludge Bomb would have been better for me. And if I would have had Sludge Bomb here, um, I could have... Uh, I don't know if I would beat Charizard. Uh, actually, uh, seven and a half turns, eight. I would need, like, a one... Uh, yeah, Sludge Bomb. <laughs> Regretting not having Sludge Bomb, that uh, perhaps would have won me the match there. But that's quite all right. And as well, I should have over-farmed. Um, but uh, that's quite all right. 
Charizard, very interesting pick. And let's see how I'm going to play this out. I'm going to go for the Lapras lead. And I think he goes for like Victory Bell or something like that. Um, I get decimated in this in this match right now. So let's see what he ends up leading. He ends up leading Lapras, uh, which is fine. Um, I forget if he switches out here. I somehow lose this mirror again. Um, it's fine. A shield. Skull bash. Skull bash again. Let's see if he's going to shield on his side. Which he is. And I end up getting to the skull bash first. And he lets go through. Um, I can't remember if I shield this. I didn't. Oh, he ends up baiting me. Nice job. And he ends up skull bashing me here, which is fine. And I go for the skull bash on my side. And he lets go through. All right, but I'm down a shield. Hopefully, he does not have Victory Bell. Um, and he does, <laughs> which is actually ends up being a little bit worse for. Uh, I don't know. It ends up being worse for me. Uh, I think he leaf blades me here. And here comes Celio, and I really should have switched out sooner. I should have I should have instant swapped. I don't know why I didn't, and it ends up costing me. I should have just instant swapped just because Victory Bell has, has such a dominant matchup over Celio, or or I should have went for the Earthquake Bait here. Uh, I don't know. It actually worked out a little bit better that he didn't shield. Um, I end up getting the mud shot to come through, and and. And uh, he body slams me here, so too slow on the switch. He ends up taking advantage of it and uh, able to take me out. Well played, C9 got him. Uh, let's see who I battle next. All right. I end up bleeding Lapras. He ends up bleeding Spirit Tomb. Uh, which is a very interesting pick, uh, especially with, I guess, no Sableye ban. Uh, no fairies as well. Um, ghosts are, like, not not that popular right now. Um, end up shielding the thing that's going to be a Shadow Ball. He ends up hitting with Shadow Sneak, uh, and then end up taking it out. And he switches in Skull Bash. Uh, so, or no, I, I end up Skull Bashing the Lapras, I should say. And I'm in a good position right now. And I hit another. I hit the Skull Bash before him. Somehow, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess maybe it was CMP tie. He didn't want a shield or thought he could survive. He switches into Lapras with two shields. I need to burn one of these shields. Uh, but uh, to be honest, I think I have Dragonair in the back, so I can just mirror two Dragonair, uh, and then just fast move down, and and I go into Dragonair, and this is a pretty straightforward uh, end game for me. And I'm shielding, probably an Aqua Tail. It is, and then I can just Dragon Breath down. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I should have used Skunk Tank and Venomoth better. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see. Lap Lapras Dragonair, such a strong core. Um, I'm really debating my starter. Uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty important pick because uh, it can certainly uh, sway the direction of your team and how the rest of your uh, support roles uh, play into it. And it's taking a while to select. 
Yo, Lapras, into Lapras. And I need to master this, this Lapras mirror. And let's see. I go for, okay. Uh, what do I do here? Oh man, I let the Skull Bash go through, which is always a terrible mistake. Why do I let the Skull Bash go through? And I learned something pretty interesting here. So he goes, uh, I hit the Skull Bash. Goes through. And I think he like, uh, he Surf Baits me here. And then hits another Surf, which makes sense. And he's able to get to the surf before me. I must have lost an ice shard uh, some point in time. And I don't know why I shielded there. Um, cause I had enough in the back to take it out. But for whatever reason, I w it was really important for me to win switch advantage. And here comes Venusaur. Man, Venusaur is so dangerous. Uh, in the close. And I do have a decent matchup here. And he goes for the Sludge Bomb. Frenzy Plant definitely would did more. Uh, and I go for the Crunch, um, looking to bait the shield. And this is where I should have perhaps uh, switched into uh, Dragonair. He goes for the Frenzy Plant. And I switch into Dragonair, hoping to KO beforehand. I'm not able to. And... I think he has Dragon Air in the back. And this is where, if you had Dragon Pulse, uh, I, I doubt you actually get to Dragon Pulse. Uh, maybe if you had Wrap, uh, no, probably not. Not gonna enough, not gonna be enough to help you. And he's just gonna hit a charge move pretty soon. And I'm gonna KO'd here, so well played. Um, yeah, somewhere I lost, but does that make sense? Uh, he's able to hit, uh, a skull bash and hmm I don't know I got I gotta, I gotta rewatch that match skull bash 75 he hits the skull we both hit skull bash um, he goes for the surf bait but he might have like I might not have gotten ice shard during one of his charge moves so I end up losing it so I just gotta tap more diligently there going up against Linden uh, always a really tough competitor. He actually showed me a really interesting team. Uh, this kind of influenced the, uh, my next team. All right, I'm not sure I didn't cut out these transitions. Sorry. All right. Okay, all right. So I go for Venomoth, and I'm met by Celio. This is terrible for me. Um, so what do I do here? Do I stay in? I guess I do. And I absorb this uh, body slam, which is going to do a pretty decent chunk. And I s try to switch out, uh, but I am not that good at switching out with confusion. I just got to tank a charge move, or tank a fast move, and then switch out. And I go for the silver win, hoping to get the boost. And I switch out into Lapras, and he switches out into Kingdra. Um, and I go for the Skull Bash. And he ends up shielding. And I need to shield this Outrage. And I think he beats me to this uh, next charge move. Surf is not going to do very much. Well, actually, no, I beat him to the charge move. Uh, well, I don't have a good matchup against Celio in the back. So it really doesn't matter too much. And he comes with Dragonair. Very gutsy move coming with Dragonair, but building up energy for Dragonair. And, oh, man, just uh, too good at counting. Um, and he hits me with the return. Eh, probably should have hit me with the uh, Aqua Tail, but... And I just need to absorb whatever this charge move is. Ends up being returned. Unless he's running uh, return Dragon Pulse, which would be very spicy. And I don't know why I even did the Aquadale there. Uh, he saw the shield, and he takes me out. 
Uh, so running a very interesting uh, team composition. Uh, running Dragonair Kingdra with Celio. Obviously that team would have uh no that has decent decent I don't does it lose heart to anything? I guess um you would have to line up Victory Bell, for example, but Okay, alright, let's see what I do here. Alright, so I lead Dragonair. And I think I end up getting caught by his Lapras. Oh no, I end up Dragonair Mirror. And what do we do here? I go for the return. <laughs> and we end the CMP tying. <laughs> why Why I don't... Uh, man. I don't know. Because I, mean, I think I have Lapras. And... Um, but I'm gonna... He has Blaziken. Which is not great for me. I think I come into... I should have. Oh, he done, I'm not shielding the Blaziken. Um, end up shielding here, which is uh, I don't know if that's advised or not. And he goes into Lapras, and I go into Victory Bell. I'm gonna shield, and and he ends up hitting. Uh, I really should have went for the Leaf Blade there. Uh, but I thought I would survive to be honest. Oh, actually, no, I did. I do end up surviving. Okay, now I shouldn't have gone for the leaf blade. I mis misrecollected this this matchup. Uh, but okay, so that that's the last battle. Um, so what I what I like about this team, um, I think Victory Bell is super strong in this meta. Obviously, Lapras, uh, Dragonair are good. I should have used Skunk Tank more as a safe swap, and I was just too afraid of using Swampert, uh, because of the of the switch window being so difficult to to switching being so difficult i'm just afraid of like eating way too many razor leaves before switching out so um i do have to get braver and use swamp bird uh, more effectively uh but let, let me know uh what you think of this team let me know what you think you're gonna run and i will see everyone in the next video